Welcome to Electron Line. An improper integral is a definite integral. Of course, a definite integral is an integral that has limits. You're evaluating it from a limit from one to another limit. And it's evaluated, an improper integral is evaluated when the limit goes to infinity or to negative infinity or both. It could go from positive to negative infinity. Or a definite integral is an integral that is discontinuous on the interval evaluated. For example, it may have a vertical asymptote. So there's therefore two types. Let's take a closer look at the first type where the limit goes to either infinity or negative infinity or potentially both. So we have a, an integral here of 1 over x dx and here's the graph of what that looks like and we want to evaluate it from 1 to infinity. So therefore it's called an improper integral. And so really what it what we're doing here is we're trying to find the area underneath that curve from 1 all the way out to infinity. How much area is there? Now either there's a finite amount of, energy, of area or there's an infinite amount of area. If there's a finite amount, then we call the integral convergent. It converges down to a particular number. But if there's an infinite amount of area, then the integral does not converge. And so sometimes we're asked to figure out if the integral converges or not, and if it does, how much area is underneath. If it doesn't, of course, then the answer is, is an infinite amount of area. For this particular example, the, the integral does not converge, and there's therefore an infinite amount of area underneath the curve when you go all the way out to infinity. The second example, 1 over x squared dx, from 2 to infinity, that does converge, and therefore, you can find the exact area underneath that curve, even though it is an improper integral. The second type is where the integrand is discontinuous. Here's a few examples. If we try to integrate 1 over x minus 1 dx from 0 to 2, we then realize that the function 1 over x minus 1 is not defined at x equals 1. So the interval goes across that point where the function is not defined. That makes that an improper integral and we may or may not be able to find the solution to that. Again, if it may be convergent, it may not be convergent, we'll have to see what the answer is when we work with that. Here's another example, the natural log of x dx, and we have to integrate it or evaluate it from 0 to 5, and then we realize that the natural log of 0 is not defined, so f of x is not defined at x equals 0. Again, that makes it an improper integral. So now that you understand what improper integrals are, we'll show you some examples and we'll show you some definitions so you know what to do with these things. So stay tuned and we'll have a few more videos for you.